The opening act is a culmination of lessons learned during his 23 years searching and clawing his way up the ladder as a professional comedian. And this major motion picture was written and directed by Pittsburgh's own Steve Byrne. How you doing, Steve? Welcome to our show. Tell us all about it. Yeah, the film's really about a kid's very first time, a young comic who moonlights as a stand-up comedian. He leaves his old job and goes after his calling, and it's his first time ever at a professional comedy club. And this club happens to be the Pennsylvania Improv, which in my heart is the Pittsburgh Improv. Well, you definitely wrangled an insane cast for this film, Steve. What real life comedian taught you the most about comedy in life? Kind of like the Cedric the Entertainer moment. Cedric's character is named Billy G and named after, to bring him back home to Pittsburgh, Billy Gardell. So that's why he's named Billy G, because Gardell and I toured together around the country on this Jameson whiskey tour. He really taught me a lot, and I, I, I learned to be a better comic, and I would say a better person in working with him. He gave me that line, it stuck in my head for years like a one-hit wonder. He said, when I was a younger comic, I thought I had to make the audience laugh so that I feel good. Now I know I make the audience laugh so that they feel good. It's the best job in the world. And when I was writing this, that line popped right back up. And I was like, I got to name it after Billy. People can find the film streaming VOD, iTunes, Amazon, all that stuff. I love coming back home to Pittsburgh. There's just Midwestern values. Everybody's polite and nobody lets you get too high on your horse. Talk about more, a little bit more about life in the 412. Were you a sports fan? I was an immense sports fan. I, I grew up playing ice hockey, so I moved there right during the Lemieux era. Um, and I got to actually play at Lemieux's fantasy camp. I'll never forget, I was going up ice and I caught a pass from Mario Lemieux. And I just wanted, to, like, it felt like somebody took the spine out of my body. I just wanted to lay down on the ice and go, this is the greatest moment of my life. And I remember I called my wife afterwards. She's like, yeah, but our wedding, right? And I'm like, nah, this is the best moment of my life. I caught a pass from Mario Lemieux. I was on the ice with him. It was great. Now, Steve, where can fans find you? Fans can find me uh, anytime after 3 a.m. on Craigslist. Usually it's a misconnection. Um, no, you can find me social media. Everything is at Steve Byrne Live. And uh, yeah, I'm posting clips and all that stuff. And hopefully I'll let you guys know when I come out to Pittsburgh. I want to sit front row at the improv next time you're here, buddy. You got it, Rich. I, I got to tell you, as a, as a man of a certain age, I'm 46 year old, years old, and I look at your hairline, you make me sick to my stomach. You, you have a fantastic hairline. It is stunning. You make me want to sue my parents. It's not fair. Thank you so much. And a 412 fanatic, we're so proud of you and everything you're doing. Thank you so much for being here on Fan Nation. You got it. Thanks for having me. Let's go, Pens.